Hello, friends and family, and welcome to the Global Pandemic Crippling Anxiety Meditation Hour that only lasts 10 minutes. And I realize that the last video lasted much longer than 10 minutes, so I'll try to keep this one brief. As usual, this is not meditation instruction, and I am not a meditation teacher. This is just meant to be uh, a bit of um, conversation around meditation, hopefully encouraging you to try to make use of meditation in uh, these somewhat stressful times. The topic I wanted to discuss today is that of paraphernalia. And it's come up a few times recently um, with friends and acquaintances who are relatively new meditators, and they hear things and have these questions like, does it matter what time of day you meditate? Does it matter where you meditate? Does it matter how high you are off the ground when you're meditating? Does it matter which direction you're facing? Does it matter what your diet is? Um, and the answer to all of these questions is yes, but no. So the truth is that ultimately um, there are a number of factors which can contribute to more productive meditation, but a lot of these are quite subtle. Um, and especially early in our meditation practice, it doesn't really make much of a difference. You're going to find, at least I have found, that there's so much struggle just to bring my attention to the meditation object at all that uh, where I'm sitting and the direction I'm sitting is, is not really a factor in the quality of my meditation. If you want to do any of these things, if you find that they help you, go ahead. There's certainly nothing wrong with using additional uh, supports to help you in your meditation. I would encourage you to avoid artificial supports um, incense and uh, external sounds, things that will only distract you by um, opening up your sense doors to external events. You don't really need that. Um, if you find that uh, to get yourself back into a meditation practice, that that's easier um, to start with external sounds and things, uh, in the capacity of a fence, as we've discussed before. Um, that's okay, but remember that that is sort of a pre-meditation. Um, that's just an environmental tool to help you get to a point where you can meditate in complete silence and, um, and try to avoid, once you get to that point, relying on any external supports. That sound, if you could hear it, I'm not sure if the microphone is picking it up or not, is rice cooking in <laughs> a very loud pressure cooker. So I'll just pause if that happens. Um, so I, I would encourage you not to worry too much about paraphernalia. Um, and in particular, posture, if you find that you're much more comfortable sitting in a chair, if you find you're much more comfortable sitting high up, um, not cross-legged, uh, do that. Sit however you are most comfortable so that the meditation isn't both a mental strain and a physical strain when you are starting out your practice. Ultimately, 
a cross-legged posture is the most stable posture that you can sit in. Um, and sitting down on the floor or down on the ground is the most stable location. But um, this is really only a concern once you've reached the point where your body is not moving at all. Um, and that is not a high stage, but it's certainly not uh, a stage that we see much at the beginning of our practice. Uh, I hope that this helps and I promise to keep it short so I won't go into any further details um, on those topics. I encourage you to sit where you're comfortable, how you're comfortable, um, and uh, to change your posture if you find yourself getting really uncomfortable and to not worry too much about other details of the paraphernalia of your meditation practice. We can jump into our 10 minute timer now if you have your 10 minute timer ready, you can start it. If you don't, you can pause this video and get it ready. And I will start now.
that's our timer and that's our meditation period for today i hope everyone is keeping well and we will see you tomorrow good night